Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So we've had our first, I would say, I don't know, celebrity death of the new year. Um, on January 1st, yesterday, it was announced that Nick Gordon passed away. For those of y'all who may not know, Nick Gordon was the ex-husband slash boyfriend of Bobby Christina Brown, who is Whitney Houston's daughter. Now, what's so interesting about this situation is that Nick Gordon was there when Whitney Houston died. He was also there when Bobby Christina, her daughter, died, I think about two, three years later. And he was accused of having, you know, something to do with Bobby Christina's death. They were never able to prove it criminally, but they did prove it civilly, okay? So since then, he moved to Florida, and that's where he's been living, and he got, you know, he moved on and things like that. And then it was announced yesterday that he died from a drug overdose. His brother took to social media to basically say RIP and, you know, let the world know that his heart is broken because his brother has passed. Now, more information is coming out, and um, TMZ released the uh, audio today. And in the dispatch audio, they're saying that there was black stuff oozing from his mouth. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out this audio, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Medical Echo, Starwood Sheraton, room 609, 600 North Lake Destiny, off of Maitland Boulevard and Maitland Center Parkway. Patient is 30-year-old male, not conscious, not breathing, caller advised, black stuff coming out of his mouth and he is not breathing 517 all right so you guys just heard the audio now on top of that they're also stating that the friends that he was with that he was getting high with they ended up dumping him at the hospital and then they drove off so the daily mail is reporting it's early but suggestions is that he was taking drugs with his friends and he passed out they drove him to the hospital took him inside and then left him there said an insider Whatever you think of Nick and his lifestyle, it's terribly sad that his supposed friends just dumped him and drove away. Gordon is thought to have been living with friends in recent months after his mother moved to Hawaii. So I want you guys to also go ahead and watch this news clip where they talk about everything further. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Developing story from Florida this morning. Nick Gordon has died from a suspected drug overdose at the age of 30. Gordon, the boyfriend of Bobby Christina Brown, who was Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown's daughter. Now CBS 46 is Daniel Wilkerson's live right here in Atlanta. Daniel Gordon and Houston and Bobby Brown's daughter once lived in Metro Atlanta in the suburbs of Roswell. And you covered her death extensively. Now this. I'll tell you, that, that is right. Uh, there was a time when you would see Bobby Christina, Whitney Houston, and Nick Gordon all walking the red carpet. And just to think, they're all dead now. It's just a tragic story any way you look at it. But take a look. This story, again, coming out of Florida. Um, Nick Gordon's brother uh, gave the news that Nick Gordon had died. Uh, he died at the age of 30 from a apparent drug overdose. You may recall Bobby Christina's family sued Gordon after she was found face down in a bathtub in her Roswell townhome. Now that was January 2015. She died almost six months later. Her family filed a wrongful death lawsuit against Gordon after he didn't show up in court. A judge ordered him to pay her a state $36 million. Now after Whitney Houston's daughter died, Gordon made his struggle with drugs uh, public, even speaking with Dr. Phil. Take a listen. I lost, I lost the most legendary singer ever, and like I'm scared to lose Chrissy. I think you definitely need to go to I do. to a medical I do. supervisory. Yeah, I do. And you can't help Bobby Christina the way you are. You can't help Chrissy like this. Right. This is not helping. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're you right. You got to get yourself cleaned up. You got to man up. You got to straighten up. Please you don't do tell me to man up. Now, yes, I am going to tell you that. No, you're not. I just did. Back out here live, you can look uh, forward to our continuing coverage on Gordon's death on air and, of course, on our social media platform. All right, so you guys just saw that news clip. So this is a really sad, tragic way um, to end this story. From the time Whitney Houston died, like the whole thing just never sat well with me. Her drowning in a bathtub, just all the secrecy surrounding her death. And then two years, two or three years later, Bobby Christina ends up dying in the same airy way. And then the guy who discovered Bobby Christina's body in the tub, he also died a few months later. And now fast forward almost seven years later, Nick Gordon 
has not died from a drug overdose. So this whole situation is really creepy. Um, Bobby Brown has not said anything yet on social media. He hasn't made any announcements yet. But I know the world is waiting to hear what Bobby Brown has to say. Being that Nick Gordon is connected to the death of his daughter and everything that happened to his ex-wife. The whole situation is sad. But once again, it just goes to tell you guys that, you know, drugs are no joke. And, you know, sometimes you think that your druggy friends are really your friends until you need them. You know, these same friends who are getting high with him didn't even have the audacity to wait at the hospital to make sure that their friend was okay or that he would make it through or that even if he died, there was somebody there with him. They literally dropped him off and ran. So this entire situation is just tragic that he was never able to kick the habit and get himself back right. Um, he hadn't posted on his social media in years. The last post was from 2017 and basically was a screenshot of Bobby Christina defending her then husband. You know, so since then, he's been pretty low key. Um, so the whole situation, like I said, it's really tragic that this is how this young man's chapter ends. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning the death of Nick Gordon. Are you guys surprised by this? And then how do you guys feel about how just crazy all three deaths are? Whitney Houston's, Bobby Christina's, and then Nick Gordon, who also died from a drug overdose as well. So let me know your thoughts on this entire situation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Most importantly, make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad. All right, deuces.